Good afternoon, uh, Big Rock Santa, to my church family who are viewing virtually uh, this afternoon. It's about lunchtime, a little after lunchtime. I'm going to wait a few minutes um, to let a few more people come in this afternoon. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a moment with Pastor, but the Lord dropped something in my spirit this morning that I need to share with you, and hopefully it'll be a blessing to you this day. And I hope that all of you are having a great day, that God is doing something magnificent in your life. Uh, I'm not going to hold you long. Some of you, I know you're on your jobs uh, or you're trying to get back from lunch. But I just want to take a few minutes to drop something in your spirit today. And hopefully it'll be a blessing unto you wherever you are, whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're going through. We're just going to wait just a couple of more seconds, let a few more people get in. If you're already on today, what I need you to do when this broadcast is over, I really want you to push it and share it. Uh, let's promote Rock Santa. Let's pr promote the word that God is dropping in our spirits here at the church. Uh, I just thank God for today. Um, Tomorrow is not promised to us, but but today, right now, I just thank him for today. So as, as we get ready to hear what God has said to me, and I'm going to share with you, uh, if you notice, um, the air doesn't really fight today. Because it's almost 100 degrees, but we're going to stay in the fight uh, this afternoon. Here it is. And I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. You can go back and look at it later if you need to. But I want you to share this word with your friends on your page to help get it out there. God dropped in my spirit one word today. This morning, I got up about 6.45, and, and I got out at 7 to get my cardio in. And God dropped this word in my spirit. The word is order. O-R-D-E-R, -E order. See, we've been living in this pandemic, and it's displaced us, and, and new things have gained more importance in our lives and we don't even realize it that we we disrupted order to survive the pandemic and we started to do things different in order to survive it and even in the body of christ even in the church believers started to move in a different way in order to survive the pandemic here it is God is prompting a return to order. He wants us to return to our first love as believers. He wants us to return to our first love as believers. Then what, what was your first love as a believer? And the problem arises, herein lies the problem for the believer. If God was not your first love before the pandemic, how are you going to return back to him during the pandemic or after the pandemic if he was never your first love? See, we have to be honest with God and get our priorities straight. And God is calling us back to order. Not the order that once existed for some because the order that first at, or may have existed for some may have not been the right order. Some people were never in love with God. They only love what God could do for them. They were only in the church because they thought that was the place to be, to network and, and to get something from God. But I'm standing today and I'm sitting here telling you in these few minutes, God is prompting us to come back to order. He says, take notice of the things that I'm allowing to happen in the earth. The pandemic is not strange to God. God allowed it to come, but yet he is the one that controls it. 
He is the one that can wipe it out. But he's saying, I'm trying to give you an opportunity. I want you to take notice that it's nothing your hands can do. The doctors may prepare a serum and call it a vaccine, but the vaccine is not going to save you. But you still need to use common sense and take it. But God is saying, if you get in order and do what I've required of you, to turn from your sinful ways, to seek my face, to pray. And then when I hear from heaven, I'll heal the land. There's an order to things. And scripture has already spoken to us and give us direction, given us direction on how we need to handle this matter. God is calling us back to order. If he was never your first love, then this is the time to get to know him. Right now is the time to really get to know him intimately. Let him become your first love because there's no guarantee that we're going to come out of this pandemic. There is no guarantee that you're going to wake up one day and the air is going to be clear. There'll be no virus. There'll be no COVID-19, no Delta variant, no other variant. There is no guarantee. This may become the way of life for us, for the future taking shots, wearing masks, social distancing, but God is still calling us back to order. He's saying, come on, get back in order. Make me the priority. Let me be your first love once again. Then what is the order? It's the order of things. God, family, corporate worship, and then your profession. That's the order of things. God, family, corporate worship, and then your profession. A lot of folks have this thing messed up in this day and time. They're more on profession than they are on God and corporate worship and family. They are more worried about making a dollar and taking advantage of the conditions that exist to try to promote themselves and try to make money than they are trying to get in, in the right order with God who makes all things possible. If we are going to continue forward on this journey in our, in our Christian experience, it's an uphill journey. But we've got to move forward. And the only way that we can move forward and continue to be successful in the kingdom of God and continue to see the move of God in our lives is that we're going to have to return to order. God has to become the priority. I said it Sunday morning from the pulpit. You heard me. Some of you, I know you don't agree, but Virtual worship has become a distraction because it's made it easy for us to get away from corporate worship. But God never said that corporate worship was going to happen on the Internet. He made it very clear in his word. He told us not to forsake the gathering of the saints or assembling ourselves together. So here it is. Corporate worship in the sanctuary has a place in the kingdom of God because it is the order of things. Don't become so lax because it gives you the freedom to do other things at home and then view him while you are doing them or to drive along and listen while you're headed to a pleasure event. He wants a sacrifice. The sacrifice is to give him one hour and 30 minutes out of your day now in corporate worship. 